What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to create a lead form ad on Facebook. If you're brand new to Facebook advertising and you've never created a lead form before, this is gonna be a step-by-step -step overview for you guys. We're gonna show you the exact ads that we use, um, what to write on the lead form, what to write on the thank you page of the lead form, even how to in integrate that with Facebook Messenger bots and ManyChat. And then if you uh, have a CRM, if you've got active campaign or email provider, how to sync the leads that you get with uh, lead forms in Facebook into your, um, your email provider, your CRM, or just to Google Sheets, right? So uh, in Facebook ads, if you go to your ads manager, you're going to see create ad here on the left with that green button. We're going to click on that. And then here you can choose uh, your campaign. So the lead form option is lead generation under consideration here. So click on lead generation. That will be your lead form ad. We're just going to name this lead form example. And I like to do the date. So it would be the 10th today. So we're going to do that. 2019. Um, and I do at the beginning of this, I would do lead form. So I, I like to call whatever it is, the objective and the date that I created it so that I know if I go back and edit it or duplicate, I can have that um, for reference, right? So we're gonna click continue here. And from here in the ad set level is where you would choose your audience, you choose your Facebook page or your Instagram page and then the placements and the budget. So the first thing you'll see here is the ad set name. So we're just gonna call this Frisco. Uh, for this video, I'm going to show you a real estate specific ad, um, and I'm going to actually show you um, my hometown. So we're going to do Marion, Indiana, um, and we're going to do 20 mile radius here. You can choose your Facebook page, um, and you do have to, if this is the first time you've run an ad for that specific page with, using lead forms, you will have to go view terms and accept the lead ads terms on, on Facebook there. So just make sure that you've done that. And then from here, you can go and choose your audience. So the very first thing that I do for local is go and click on this and choose everybody who lives in this location, not everybody in this location, right? Because you got people out of town, you might not want them, right? So people who live in this location, and we're going to do my hometown, which is Marion, Indiana. This is more of a rural area for those of you who um, live in a more rural area, right? Or if you have clients in a more rural area. So we're going to scroll back up here and choose 25 mile radius because this is an 80,000 reach here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to just do 23 just to see what that does. So 70,000 in a 25 mile radius of Marion, Indiana. Um, and then from here, we don't need to choose uh, language. Uh, we do want to exclude people here. So this is a real estate um, specific ad. We do want to exclude realtors, National Association of Realtors. And we'll do brokers as well. National Association, Association of Realtors, Brokers. Okay, so we've done that. That excludes about 4,000. You can go down the rabbit hole of doing real estate by job title, right? So you can see real estate broker job title, real estate associate job title. You can go down that. Um, from what we found, it doesn't really get you um, as many people. So we just do these. And then from here, you'll choose your placements, right? So this is where Facebook and Instagram will show your ads. It automatically does all of the placements, right? What we want to do is go and edit those. And for the purpose of this ad, we're just going to do Instagram feed. So make sure that's checked. Uncheck this. Uncheck marketplace. Keep stories there. And we're going to keep Instagram feed and Instagram stories checked as well. And then from here, what you'll need to do is choose a budget for 60,000 people. I think a 10 to $15 budget will be good. So we're going to choose 15. You can do 10 in more rural areas. Typically, the cost per lead is a lot cheaper. So you can try um, having a lower budget. I think $15 a day would be spot on. So we're just gonna click continue here. And then on the ad level is where you will actually do the creative. Um, you'll choose the page, you'll choose the Instagram page. So if you don't have an Instagram account, you'll just use the selected page here, which is the Facebook page. You can go and select an Instagram page if you want. 
Uh, but for this, we're just going to use uh, at Facebook page. And then from here, you can choose an ad name. Um, I would just call this um, listing one, uh, picture one, do something like that. If you use a video, you do video. If you do slideshow, you do slideshow. Uh, just in case that you do multiple ads at one point or, or this ad doesn't do very well, you create a duplicate and you call it listing one, pick two, right? Or listing one, video one, instead of pick one. So uh, that's my only recommendation there. Uh, for the purpose of this video, we're just going to do an image and I'm going to upload, um, I'm going to use a free stock image here, just of a home. You would obviously use a picture of a house of the listing, but for this video, we're just going to keep this nice and simple. Um, let's just do this one. That's fine. And then from here, you would go and create the ad itself, right? So you've got your image in there. Um, that looks okay. So then you would go and do the actual ad copy so you do featured listing or you know new listing or uh, you know pre-listed whatever it is right so we're, we're just gonna stick with pre-listed um, and then do in Marion um, and then do uh, beautiful you know, three bedroom two and a half bath room home and then from here, we're going to do our call to action. So it would be, hey, visit this link. But since this is a lead form, we want our call to action to be either be click on the image below or click on the learn more button, which we're going to choose this call to action here to learn more. So we're going to choose learn more. And then our call to action would be tap learn more to see all photos price and location of this beautiful home. And then from here, uh, I would say this home features blah, 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 right? And then I would do, you know, check one, feature one, feature two, feature three, and then copy this call to action. I would use emojis with this, so um, you know, whatever emojis that you have. So um, that is kind of the, the copy that we use for real estate agents. Um, and then from here, you would just scroll down and this is where you're going to create your lead form itself. So um, for this video, I'm just going to duplicate it, but you would just choose new form. And then from here, I, actually, I will just do a new form for you guys. So I'll do listing, listing example. And then here, um, form type. So if you want to make sure that you're getting the highest quality leads possible, then you can choose higher intent. So essentially what that allows you to do is when a lead submits their information, Facebook and Instagram will basically say, hey, um, is that correct? Or is the information above correct? So that they can confirm that their info is right. Um, what we found is you're going to get less people to actually opt in and you don't get as you know, you don't get better quality leads. It is something that you should try and test out for your market because, you know, rural Indiana might be a little bit different and people might actually respond to that versus, you know, suburbs of Chicago where they're probably not going to care if they entered their wrong information, right? And then from here, uh, you'll just want to check on settings. What I like to do is go and make sure that this is open so that it can be shared as many times as possible. Uh, and a lot of people have this question say, hey, if, if we do open and it's shared a bunch, won't that mess with the metrics? Actually, no, Facebook knows if that lead has come in through organic or through paid advertising. So it doesn't really mess with your metrics. You're just going to get more, um, more leads that way. You're going to be able to share, get more reach. So make sure that that is open there. Go back to content here. Uh, for the intro, for a listing, you do not need uh, any more information. So I would toggle this off if you have a listing. If you want to do some other stuff, then you can. Um, if you want to add more information, you can. If it's a lending specific campaign, then you can add more information here. If you've got a homes list, you can add some more information. But oftentimes, that's just going to distract from the end goal. And people just, you know, they already clicked on your ad. They're already interested. Just make it as easy as possible for them to you know, do two more clicks to get the information, right? So we're just gonna toggle that off. We go to questions here. 
And then this is where you would say uh, get instant access to more photos, price, and location of this home by providing info below. And then from here, what shows up first is email, then their full name. Cool trick here is if you uncheck these, uh, your first, the full name, the first thing that they will see will pop up first. Then if we check email now, it's under that. And if we want phone number, we can check that and it's under that. A key there is, you know, people, if people see their email, they might not want to do that. Uh, it's just another way to get them to easily click one more time. And what's cool about lead forms is those auto populate with the information that we've already put into Facebook, right? So they're going to use the email that I use for my personal page. They're going to use the phone number that I have there. And so as soon as they click on our ad, what's cool is that pre populates. So this is going to say Adam Middlesworth, you know, Adam at gmail.com. Uh, one, two, three, Adam, you know, would be the phone number that I have in my Facebook profile. So they're just going to click submit one more time and go directly to the thank you page, which is pretty cool. Then here you do have to put your privacy policy, make sure that you do that. So it would be, you know, Adam Middlesworth.com, goodness, privacy. And then I would just, for the link text, I would just put privacy. And you should be good there, right? So on the thank you screen, this is kind of where we uh, use our mini chat. So we're just going to say thanks. We'll send you the info. But wait, one more step. Um, and this is where we like to get them into our mini chat account, right? So we're just going to say, um, click, uh, sorry, see if you qualify for our special financing programs, financing and programs by tapping the button below grams. We're going to say, uh, take the pre-approval quiz now. And then we're going to do our, our mini chat reference URL. Uh, I've got a video on all of that. I will link that in the description below if you want that. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, we are done with our lead form ad, right? We've done the um, ad set. We've chosen who we want to target. We've done the daily budget. We've put our placements on there. We want Instagram, Facebook, newsfeed, and stories. And we've created the actual ad, we've created the image, the copy, uh, and we've created our lead form, right? And our thank you page. So we're just gonna click finish. And then from here, all you would go and do is click on confirm, and then your ad will be in review with Facebook and should be approved at least within five hours or at least within one business day, typically, um, if not much sooner, right? And then from here, what you want to do is you want to go collect that information somewhere, right? So two tools that you can use that are very, very similar. The one is more common. It's called Zapier. And if you go to Zapier, you can create a free account. Uh, you do need a paid account, I believe, to use the Facebook lead structure. So if you just go click on Make a Zap, and then you can go through that process. I'm just going to show you one that I've already done. So you'll see trigger one and they'll, they'll take you through this process, right? So you go here, you'll search on, um, you want to collect the information, right? So we're gonna go Facebook lead ads. You would click that, click this, and then it'll take you to the next form. You want new leads there. You will need to go connect your Facebook account. Once you've got that connected, then you can go and choose the page that you've done. You can go and choose the forms, right? So you can choose from all of your pages. You can choose from all of your forms, click continue. They'll test that step. They'll give you a, you know, quote unquote fake lead. And then from here, you can create uh, where you want that to go, right? So uh, you would go here. Um, oh, since I've already got that, excuse me, we would add a step, right? So I'm taking this to a Google Sheet so that all of the leads are in one place, right? So Google Sheets, you would just go in here and search for Google Sheets. It would pop up. You can go create a new spreadsheet row for that. You would go and connect your Google account and you would edit which sheet you wanna use, which worksheet you wanna use, what you're going to input, right? So you'd come in here, you would say full name as the name, come in here, email as the email, 
uh, we would just say Facebook lead ads and then you would click continue right and then the, the next thing you want to do is if you want this to go to uh, like the active, active campaign or um, you do this action search uh, if you want to go to active campaign you can do that if you're a real estate agent and you want to go to conversion or real geeks you can do that um, you can also do follow-up boss or MailChimp and then you would just go through that same process right so you would add a new subscriber you would go and connect your account so you go connect your account and then you go through that whole process again right so Zapier is a good way to collect lead form uh, lead information and another cool tool that I found is called Integromat, I think it's called. Integromat. Uh, and you can do the very similar thing with Integromat. The cool thing about this uh, platform is what um, Zapier would charge you for, um, for I think it's 100 uh, notifications or something like that, or maybe it's 1,000. Uh, Integromat will do for free on their free plan. So you can use lead ads for free. Uh, it's a free plan, right? And you would go do the exact same thing. Um, I'm not going to go through this whole process because it is a little bit of a learning curve, but um, they have really good support tools on how to go and connect lead ads with all of the tools. And they've got Active Campaign. The only thing that these guys don't have is ClickFunnels and Zapier does. Uh, but I found that everything else would work. All right, guys, so that is how to create a lead form ad using Facebook. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like more videos and want to see more of my content, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.